welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I am Holly, the Twister Sister, and today we are getting ready to pull out the trees and start decorating because Thanksgiving is coming soon and usually that's around the time the trees come out as well. And so I want to help you all out and show you how to make some balloon ornaments. They are so pretty and shiny and cute and they look great not just on Christmas trees, but I put them over here on my plant as well to decorate and it just brought me a lot of joy every time I looked at that. So you could decorate any sort of indoor plant you have in your house. They are lightweight and you don't have to store them all year long and they can't break, they're shatterproof. So we're gonna make some Christmas ornaments with balloons today. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Only uses two balloons per ornament. It's a pretty fast craft to make. Before we get into that though, I just wanted to show off these adorable holiday Christmas moose designs. Aren't these so adorable? This is a member exclusive design available inside of the Twister Hood that I taught my members and I think it's super cute. It can also be used all year round. Just take the scarf off and you have a great mousse to put on your menu for any sort of party where you think people might ask you for a mousse. Or if you ever get challenged for a mousse, someone thinks they've got a, a good one to stump you with, you'll know how to bust this out and they'll be quiet and think you're the best balloon artist they've ever seen. That and many, many, many more tutorials are available inside the Twister Hood for members only. So if you are not inside the Twister Hood, you are missing out on some of my tutorials and a ton of other fun goodies that our members have access to in there. We are doing a membership Black Friday drive right at this very moment. So check out the link down below this video. If you go check out the membership information page to learn more about it, you'll see that we are offering some really cool bonuses and goodies to new members who sign up this week only. So you don't wanna miss it. Uh, link again is down in the description below and that moose tutorial is waiting for you there. To make Christmas ornaments, we are going to need a five inch round and a 260. Now, I highly recommend using the reflex or the chrome colors because look how gorgeous they are. Here's three of them all together. Those colors are just stunning. They are shiny and reflective and they just look like ornaments. You'd be hard pressed to know these were a balloon, um, especially if someone was just coming in your house and they didn't really know that you put balloons on everything. <laughs> It might trick some people. So a great easy way to decorate. So um, I've got some metallic reflex five inch red and I also have silver, nice shiny silver. So when you blow up your five inch round, here's what we're gonna do. Get your, your um, tip of your pump way down far into your balloon. Okay, and we're just gonna put a little bit of puff, a couple puffs of air in there. Now you can see as I blew this up, it's starting to elongate. It wants to turn into an oval. Christmas ornaments are not ovals. They are perfectly round little globe balls. Okay, so what we can do um, is just give our ball a squeeze back, back up towards our other hand and that will give you a nice round ball shape. Okay, we wanna tie that off nice and tight to the balloon. And there's the start of our ornament. So far, so good, right? It's not that hard. For the next part of our Christmas ornament, I prefer to use a 160 pump just because with these chromey, reflexy balloons, um, if you over inflate them and then let some air out, they're kind of like, they don't snap back as much as a regular balloon. So they'll stay a bit stretched out. So I don't wanna over inflate this guy because we just need a little, little ball of air in here and I don't wanna stretch out more of the balloon because it'll make the next part a little more difficult. So I'm just going to use my 160 pump to put just a tiny, tiny bit of air in here, like enough to, like enough for one and a half bubbles. <laughs> okay, and tie that off. Now, what we're gonna do is called a marriage twist. We're gonna be combining, bringing together, joining two balloons, and they two become one <laughs> forevermore. Uh, so we're gonna, what I do is I take my 
finger and kind of get my fingernail sort of up behind the nozzle here of my first finger so that um, if I do have any nails, it's like in that latex. So I'm not like pushing it directly into the inflated part of the balloon. We're gonna hide our nail inside the nozzles. We're gonna get both of the nozzles um, up in our, our finger there, holding them both together. And then we're gonna come towards the silver balloon and I'm going to stick my finger that's holding those nozzles down into the middle of the silver balloon. I'm gonna go all the way to the end of that bubble to where I can feel all that latex that I'm holding, that big knot. I'm gonna grab it with the other hand. So I'm holding the knot, it's like right here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a cluster of latex knots and nozzles in there, okay? Then we're gonna twist this whole thing around. So now that cluster of nozzles and knots is up here and I've twisted it around here. So it's very unlikely to come undone at this point unless you let go of what you're holding here. <laughs> now at this point, I like to come all the way out to the end of my tail here and cut off just the very end of it. That lets the air out of this section of the balloon, which makes it easier to tie a nice tight knot um, and I also think it ends up working better for the string or the hook of your ornament. Um, when you have air in there, it just does it, it gives you a different look, okay? So what I'm gonna do to tie this, I'm gonna hold my tail, so I just have about an inch or so that I can pull from my fingers, and I'm gonna wrap it around the top of that ornament a good three or four times, okay? So if you can see, I've wrapped everything right here and this is where all those nozzles and everything are that I've been holding. So I've wrapped around underneath those so they can't come out. Once that's done, then you can tie a nice double knot on your line here to hold everything securely in place. So I've done a nice one little knot there and then I'm gonna do just another double knot again to make sure it doesn't come undone. So now you can see what we have. We've got our big clump of nozzles here and then the wrapping and the knot is underneath that. So that is hooked. It is not going to go anywhere. What I do, we're basically done at this point, but I do like to get rid of this extra little uh, flap here. So I'm going to pull it out and then just cut it. So it cleans up our ornament there. And then if your, um, the silver part of your ornament is kind of lopsided, how you see mine, these are somewhat shapeable by just manipulating the air in there. So we can squeeze this around to get it more flat and even on all the sides. So we get a nice little shape like that. And then something that will probably bug you because it bugged me is we can see all this big lump here in our string from all the latex and the nozzles that are in that knot that we were holding. What you could do with these marriage twists and apple twists is you can actually shove that back down into the silver balloon. So just put your finger on it and just kind of shove it and roll the outside edges of the silver up over it and it will completely hide it down inside your silver balloon so you just see a nice smooth string ready to hang this ornament on your tree or put it on a wreath or put it on a hat. I don't know, make earrings out of it, whatever you wanna do with these beautiful Christmas ornaments. So again, here's some different fun colors to try for the holidays. I know that there's also blue in reflex and purple and um, some other metallic colors like copper and rose gold. And you could really do any sort of theme of colors for the ornaments that you wanna decorate with this year. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments and if you'll be making any ornaments with balloons for your holiday decorating this year. I do have clip art available for these. I'm not sure if this is something that you'd want to put on your holiday menu, but I don't know every situation. And so I like to make clip art available just for whatever use case you might have a need for. So you can get that over on our web store, or if you're part of the Twister Hood, you can just 
slide on over into the clip art vault and get access to over 600 clip art designs that I've made to go along with every tutorial I've ever taught plus more. And that is all a part of the membership when you join us, plus those awesome bonuses and goodies that you get for new members who sign up right now during our Black Friday membership drive. Once that's over, it's over. No more sign up bonuses for anybody. So if you've been waiting for a good time to join us or you really wanna grow your business or even just start it next year, this is the time to get in and start getting access to all the resources we have that can help you start or grow your balloon twisting business. I wanna thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I can't wait to see pictures of your ornaments and how you decorate with these. Please share what you do with this design over in our free Facebook group. That's where I'll be hanging out all week until next Tuesday when I'll see you back here on YouTube for another tutorial Tuesday. Have a great week, everyone, and happy twisting. Bye-bye.